The conjugate of the denominator, the square of 2, I have a plus b, I need a minus b. Because if I multiply by the same thing, I will not get rid of, remember that we'll have three terms. Okay, and the denominator is? First term squared, which is 2, minus the second term squared, which is 3. Now the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 3 will be negative the square root of 6. Negative the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 will be negative the square root of 6 again. And negative the square root of 3 times negative the square root of 3 will be positive 3. So this will end up being 5 minus 2 the square root of 6 over negative 1 or negative 5 plus 2 the square root of 6. See if you have any questions on this. Can we do another like this? Yes. Just make one up. Or I will. Okay, good. To the square root of x plus the square root of y divided by 4 the square root of x minus 3 the square root of y. Okay, one minute. And then I would like to look at a few equations. Like 22. x equals the square of x minus 2 plus 2. And then a midpoint and, and uh, distance formula. Is it a charger? It's a really cheap, nice charger. Thanks, man. Good. Okay, what do we multiply and divide by? Anyone give us the denominator? 16x minus 9y. 16x plus, I'm sorry, minus 9y. Excellent. Good. And now the numerator, which is a mess. Very good. 6, the square root of xy. 6, the square root of xy. Plus 4, the square root of xy, which is 10 the square of xy and plus very good excellent we're solving the equation number 22 
Are we working on 22? Yes? Okay. Do you find the review useful? Yes. Why wouldn't everyone come to to the review? Right. And if you redo the tests, you'll you'll know everything. I'm just worried. That's I know the guy that's next to me had a lot of work stuff going on lately. Mm. Okay. I know that's why he was able to come to the past few classes too. Okay. He came here last time. I was like, "Where you been?" He's like, "Work." Makes sense. Yep. Do we need more time on 22? Okay, please dictate first step and I'll do it. Very good. We have a contract on the left hand side. The contract we signed three and a half months ago. You can not forget your contracts. I'm ready. There is a contract. We have a contract on x minus 2 squared. Yes? Good. And the right hand side? Right. So please do not confuse this, which is indeed 4x squared, to this, which is three terms. That's why I emphasized this formula from the very beginning so we don't have difficulties. Please, a binomial squared is a trinomial. Now, if it's a product, you're right. But if it's a difference or a sum of two terms, then you have to write three terms. Good. So let's finish it up. One minute. Okay, so it's quadratic. I have to set it equal to zero, right? Mm -hmm. But then I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals zero, which factors into x minus. Um, uh, when I move positive x to the other side, it becomes negative. So negative 4x minus an x and 4 plus a 2. So x minus 3, and we have x equals 2 and x equals 3. But remember, I'm not certain that they work. What do I need to do? Plug it back in. Plug it back in. So does any work? Both or none? Two works. Okay, two works. Does three work? Yes. 
Yes. So both of them work. Yes, yes. Good. We are given thir in 34, we are given two points. We're asked to find two things. The distance between the two points and the midpoint. The midpoint is the sum divided by 2, the average of x's. x1 plus x2 over 2, and y1 plus y2 over 2. And the distance formula is the square root, x2 minus x1, everything squared, plus y2 minus y1, everything squared. So after this, I'd like to look at 15, the square root of 125x cubed. Minus 3, the square root of 20x cubed. And then um, 96, the square root of x minus 3. And then 93. Just work on this problem. I just want to copy a few. So we're working on 34. Do we need more time on 34? So let's uh, start with the midpoint. When I add these two numbers, I get negative 2 to the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5, which is negative 3 to the square root of 5 divided by 2. When I add these two numbers, I get 5 to the square root of 10 divided by 2. Now the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1, so negative the square root of 5 minus 2 the square root of 5, x2 minus x1 plus squared plus y2 minus y1, everything squared. Is this okay so far? Yes? So 2 the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5 is the square root of 5. And when I square the square root of 5, what do I get? 5. Plus 4 to the square root of 10 minus 10 minus the square root of 10 is 3 to the square root of 10. But when I square 3 to the square root of 10, I get 9 multiplied by 10. So 90 plus 5, the square root of 95. And that is it. Any questions? y2, x2 minus x1, everything squared, with the square root. So the square root of x2 minus x1, everything squared, plus y2 minus y1, everything squared. And you cannot ever have a negative number under the square root, because we have a sum of two squares. So that will always be positive. I don't want to see the square root of negative 55. That's not possible because both quantities are squared under the square root. OK, so let's work on 15, unless you have questions. Is not 20 the percent? Uh, 20, I'm sorry. Okay. Forgive me.
So the square root of 125x cubed minus 3 is the square root of 20x cubed. Um, should I wait or should we start? Well, obviously I have to break them out. Okay, how do we split 125 so we can take the square root from something? Very good. How do we split x cubed? X, x Very good. And what about 20? Good. Now again, the same thing. Good. So now you can rewrite it if, it if you want to as the square root of 25, the square root of 5, the square root of x squared, the square root of x, minus 3, times the square root of 4, times the square root of 5, times the square root of x squared, times the square root of x, if you want to. If it's easier for you, you can do that. So then, the simplified form of the first expression. 5x Very good. Of 5x. Yes. It should have been the absolute value, but we are not told that x can be any real number. So I'm fine with 5x, the square root of 5x. What about this? Three. So there is a 2 from here, and there is a 3 in front. Oh, so six x. Minus 6x, six x, the square root of 5x. Since these appear to be like terms, Negative or like radicals, this quantity is the same in both. Then I have 5 apples minus 6 apples, and the answer is negative x, the square root of 5x. Good. The square root of x minus 3, everything squared. Can anyone give us the square root of x minus 3 everything squared? X. Yes? X. Yes? X. 2 times the first times the second. Minus? X minus 3 square root x. 2 B. times uh, the first times the second. 6, six the square root of x plus? plus plus the second term squared, which is? Six. Plus right. Good. OK, 93. So what we have is chapter 8, chapter 9, four sections, chapter 8, four sections, and chapter 4, systems of linear equations, left. Nothing else.
and please do not miss the review on Thursday if you can, please. Please show up. Okay, can anyone give us an idea here? Yes, into? Uh, 25. And 125. We already did that a few minutes ago, so it's 25 and 5. Very good. Excellent. So, if you have any difficulties, rewrite this. S, 2, the square of 25, the square of 2, minus 3, the square of 25, times the square of 5, plus the square of 49, times the square of 2. And what now? The first Yes. Very good. Now this. Very good. Plus Which of these three can be combined? The first two. The first and the last, right? So 17, the square of 2, minus 15, the square of 5. OK, 16. Um, the fourth root of x squared minus 4 to the fourth power. Let's read this. Use absolute value bars when necessary. Simplify. What will the answer be? Very good. Good. Now, when you redo your tests, all of them with solutions are posted, uh, make a note and say, I don't remember this particular problem. Because we are reviewing everything, but we may not be able to review each and every type. OK? So redo all your, all your tests between now and Thursday and come back and say, I don't remember this one. So I have we have left chapter four, chapter eight, and chapter nine for Thursday. What did we do today? Today we I asked you if you wanted to, to go back to seven and, and twelve, and you said no because we just had that test, test four. We reviewed chapters um, ten and eleven today. So we have the uh, linear systems, and we have functions. And we have um, absolute value inequalities and equations and compound inequalities. Okay. Well, I'll stop here for today. If you have any questions, please stay. If you have any questions on the test, that's why I wanted to finish a few minutes early so I answer your questions.